It is dahlia lifting season and I thought I would touch base with you and just point this little detail out. Many of you will be lifting your dahlias over the next couple of weeks and it is time to inspect all of your rootstocks and make sure that everything that you are lifting and storing is of the best quality. And some of you may come across things like this. This is actually leafy gall. There are two types of gall that will affect dahlias. Also, it affects chrysanthemums, but seldom spreads to anything else in the garden. Leafy gall is a little bit unsightly, as you can see. Uh, the tuber here, this one is Thomas Edison, a beautiful, very, very dark purple dinner plate dahlia, which produces masses and masses of flowers and reaches quite tall, about five to six feet in height. But this particular one has got leafy gall, which is a bacterial infection, which causes lots of distorted and very disfigured growth to appear in large clusters, normally around the very base of the plant. Now, where there were no signs whatsoever that this particular plant had any form of infection until I cut it back and lifted it. Now, obviously, it's quite early. I've cut it back because we need to get out of its pot and replace the uh, pot with something else but we've deemed this one as I say it's got leafy gall and now the decision is up to yours up to you with what you do with it realistically any infected tubers really should be thrown away and replaced next year with something fresh strong and healthy however this dahlia will store absolutely fine it will grow next year and it's likely to throw up very very normal shoots before the gall takes over and it starts sort of growing round and round in circles now if you can keep the tuber nice and healthy there won't be any issue whatsoever but what you don't want is this spreading through all of the rest of your dahlia so i'm putting this to one side until a decision can be made do not put this onto the compost heap because what you don't want to do is compost it and then reinfect other things in your garden so if this one is deemed that it's not being stored and you're not keeping it keep it well away from everything else at this point and then it either incinerate it or sending off for commercial garden recycling put it in your green waste bin for your curbside recollection or take it down to your green uh, tip and get rid of it that way but certainly do not put that into your compost heap but this is leafy gall on a dinner plate dahlia this is thomas edison this should be treated and you should uh, make it well, put it to one side until you've decided what you're going to do with it